Hello, we beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. In Mass Effect Andromeda. I am, first of all, in a brand new recording session, so forgive me my disorientation. And there... Yeah, I need to... Yeah, okay. Good. We need to find a way up, right? Where can I... There is something I can scan here. I somehow am unable to locate it. Good, then I'm... For well, now, just gonna ignore it and I hope that... Oh, there we go. Okay. To the vortex we need to go. So that was a quick one, but still there's something... Here, right? Except I... Wait a second, can we go... Up. Pathfinder, I hear the Angaran planet Aya is a paradise. We finally found a lush world. When do we start moving in? In good time. As we become better friends, hopefully we'll all share more and more. But we need to find lush planets of our own. For all of us. True. But hey, at least now we know one exists, right? I know you'll do it. Keep up the good work, Pathfinder. Thank you. Someone who said something positive to us, that's always nice to hear. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planetside, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds, what self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Yep, a friendly person too. Now, we can enter another quarters. That's good. But now, we are then our own leaf here. Uh, at least we have a had a couple of conversations and scanned the container or whatever item that was for the Vortex. We need to go to the Vortex anyways, right? And have two, two quests to service A, I think, and in there. But we can do... We can go, first of all, to a docking bay too. And let's see what... Until demands are met. This is Agent S. 
Yep. Here the vortex at one point was. Well, not at one point. It should be around here somewhere. Although that is not the way I rem... Oh, yes, it is. Hmm. I thought it was further in the back, if I'm utterly entirely honest. But anyways. Those look horrifying. Dutch will love them. Good. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. Good. Better crafting, that's done. Looking good there. Yeah, and then... Good, um, that was a little bit... Ah, okay, that's just... Yeah, that's actually done, right? Okay, and I oversaw you, buddy. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. We are gonna cheat. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. Ooh. Were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Not the type to give up, huh? Never. She'll be with me to the bitter end. Come what may. Jill's a fatality expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's nothing. I call. Ooh, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. Cards went my way. Beginner's luck. Pedal that somewhere else. You're no beginner. Jill's gonna lay into me hard when she hears you won. Ah, I'll just tell her this proves how bad a player she is. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Nice. Ah, that's... Ah, these are just the lamps. I thought... What's that weird box? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, as we get out of the vortex, it's too loud there. Our nexus, our lives. That we already had in one of the last episodes. Let us see, priority ops. That is what we actually can do now. Since we are here already close to the Tempest. And then we are gonna find us this nice, neat little conversation. There we need to go. Alright, good. I went a little bit wrong. But we can always jump down. Okay, here I can't jump down. Fair enough. Ah, uh, hi. <laughs> Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's available, would you? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh, never mind. Just uh, tell him I said hi, huh? Okay, I will. Um, I guess some um, romantic stuff. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good that we didn't start a romantic relationship with him right now. Or already, right? Um, yeah. Good, we leave it to that. Maybe, yes, maybe 
we uh, the next time we talk to him maybe we then have can tell him that All right, to the meeting room it Coral, goes. To check in with you. Thank you. If I am gonna be able to find the lady. I already did not find her the last time, which is weird. But I'll do my best before we start. Have you talked with Jarmuch? much? The quest. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later. I know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if I would like, if I would be able to find Cora, then could start the There's meeting. Cora channels already, Pathfinder. Yeah, I will do that. Don't worry. Thank you, still. For letting me know, Jill. Wait, can I actually tell him, buddy, there was something, someone asking for you? Hey, Ryder. What's the story? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> Well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Okay, that we did, nice. And we need to take her then with us and that might be a good opportunity to actually find out how to do that. Now let's then go on with a trail of hope. Commander? Pathfinder, Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You went out of your way to free that science team. A selfless act. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Aya's vault. Joel says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises and little by little our bond might grow. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special cat facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processes. Pathfinder, adding my processor to that program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. He's physically connected to me, and so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the Ket. I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. A team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Ket facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. 
See, who would have guessed that being honest... Yeah, let's talk to him too. That's... let's track that. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that taking the honest... Appro I, uh, well, I don't know what have, what have, what have, would have happened with the other option, right? That would have been neat to know too. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. That's why he hates aliens. Yes, he suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant, or anything, except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarul who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Might that be something we put in between? Um, since we are closing in to the end of today's episode, I would like to... Well, we can start with this one, right? And then we can actually go to EOS after that, if future psychic actually will remember that, which I cannot guarantee, but I'll do my best for now. You know it, I... How long does it take to learn piloting? Depends how you apply yourself. With your mind, you'd be adept in a few weeks. Thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frostbite.